And he will do so as Jack Blake gets us started here for our NESL Game of the Week for Jack. As Kaisa trying to head it away, we'll have to have a second crack at it, but actually, this leaves it for Jack Blake. He'll try it first time. And on the volley, could not direct it on the target. Just goes over the bar. And I almost try to give a very interesting effect on the ball, hitting it like that on the volley. Just taking a wicked dip in the end. Still going over the crossbar, and actually happens because of the attempted headed clearance right there from Tysa, the second one. Actually nudges it backwards inadvertently into the path of Blake. It's actually Portilla who takes it, and with his left foot, goes straight to Patterson Sewell. Yeah, curls it just around the wall, trying to catch the goalkeeper by surprise, but rather tame effort. Might have put a good ball into the channel for Blake. Now here's Banks, a little pocket of space. He's got Oxenville, he takes a shot off the save from Pazair. He has good opportunities in and to get the goal here for Jacksonville. It's flung in. Header is on from... Looked like the substitute Gebhard who got to it. I don't know for his physical high-pressing system to work. Needs those players to be fresh. It's a good long ball sent towards Gebhard who just couldn't quite take it on the volley. But charging through is Blake who takes it! Just skims wide. J.C. Banks asking for the corner, but instead it's a goal kick, but a good opportunity for Jack Blake. Uh, Blake doesn't get too much power behind this one. It looks to be angled very well, though, into that bottom corner. Ball just bounced to him outside the box. Now look at how that play was created. Just hopped right into his path. He settles it well. And Asilundu, and that is the final whistle. Final word on this one, Matteo Bonetti. I think in the end, pretty even match, but.